My name is Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. Before you begin this or any other exercise program, you'll want to check with your doctor and he'll tell you exercises you should and shouldn't do. Then you want to wear loose, comfortable clothes so that you can stretch and bend as we do and not feel restricted at all. Also, you'll want to have water nearby that you can drink before, during, and after our time together. You'll want to work at your own pace. So if we're going too slow for you and you can do it in a safe manner, you can pick up the pace. But if we're going too fast for you, you slow right down. And if you're feeling any pain or tenderness or lightheadedness, you stop completely. So we want to listen to our bodies and remember that our bodies will never lie to us. Also, because we're in a chair, we're going to make sure that we're in a good sturdy chair. So if you're in a big old fluffy chair, you're going to want to move your buttocks towards the front so your feet are flat on the floor. Also, you'll want to check your environment. You want to check up and make sure your hands, when you stretch up, aren't going to knock into the ceiling fan. You'll want to check the sides to make sure as we turn, you're not going to knock a lamp over. Also, you check the floor for like rugs or cords or anything that might be laying on the floor that might impede your stepping side to side or forward and back. So we've checked our environment, and then we need to remember how important it is to do a little every day, just a little bit, because what you'll find is the next day you can do a little bit more, and then a little bit more, and voila, you have good health. And when you have good health, you'll want to eat better, you'll sleep better, and all is right with the world. So remember to smile, and remember to do your very best. Okay, before we begin this program, I'd like you to meet our friend Ruth. Hi, my name is Ruth. I enjoy walking with Michael on the trails and cooking once in a while. <laughs> Ruth loves to cook, but Michael doesn't let her. <laughs> no, he doesn't allow me in the kitchen, so he does all the cooking. I love that. Thank you, Ruth. And now I'm going to introduce you to Michael. Bear in mind, sometimes he fibs. <laughs> okay, Michael. <laughs> Well, and you can probably tell this is my wife over here at the end, Ruth, and we've been married for only 10 years. And uh, we, met in, we met in church, and Ruth uh, insisted that uh, I not only do the cooking, but I also uh, help her exercise. So what we exercise together, Ruth has a, I've got an iPhone, and Ruth has a real, what is it called, Ruth? I have the iPhone. You have a flip phone. Oh, I have a flip phone. Oh, my God, a flip phone. Oh, I got the last one, I think, in the store. But, but she, Ruth has on her iPhone, she has uh, a, an app that says how many steps she takes. So today we'll be sitting, but the best exercise you can do is walking, and most everybody can walk. And Ruth wants to walk 10,000 steps a day. So that's what we try to do. Okay, today we're going to work on pillows. Almost everybody has pillows. And if you don't have a pillow, you may have a stuffed animal. And if you don't have any of that, you can take some newspaper, crumple it up, put it in a plastic bag, tie the top, and you're going to have exactly what you need today. So let's just go right ahead and grab our pillows. So it can be a small pillow, a big pillow, whatever kind of pillow you want. But of course, as you know, we have to warm up our bodies. So we're going to prepare to do that. We're going to start with the largest muscles first, right on our legs. So we're going to lean back a little bit as we extend one leg and then sit up. We're going to lean back a little bit and then sit up. There you go. So now we're working on extending the leg. We're leaning back a little bit and working on the hips. There you go. Now, let's see if we can do the exact same thing sitting up nice and tall. So we're nice and tall. And we're going to extend one leg without leaning back. And can you feel a little bit of difference? I can, yes, I feel the difference. Not a lot, but a little. Can you yes. feel a little? Yes, I certainly can. Oh, good. Okay. Now, we're going to take our leg and put the pillow on one leg and tap that leg out. Bring it in. Put the pillow on the other leg. Tap it out. Bring it in. Pillow on the other leg. Tap it out. So now we're working. There you go. On the lateral movement of the leg. And last time. So we're getting our hip all warmed up. And out and in. Good job. Now we're just going to tap the toes nice and easily. There you go. 
So we want to really think about pulling the toe up so that we feel the muscles on the sides of the shin. There you go. Now we're going to hold the toes up. We're going to sweep the toes out and in, kind of like windshield wipers. There you go. Excellent. There you go. Okay, now we're going to hold our toes facing forward, and we're going to bring the heels out and in. There you go, and we're sitting nice and tall. We feel great because we had a great meal. Fruits and vegetables, lots of water, right? Yes. 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 Okay, then we're going to hold our toes and heels in good alignment and just lift the toes and then lift the heels. So we're rocking from our toes to our heels, and we're really working the muscles on our feet. There you go. We're working our ankles, and we even get the calf and the muscles on the side I'm of the shin. Cramping a little in my calf, actually. Whoa, okay. Well, if you do feel a cramp in your calf, you're going to extend one leg straight out and pull the toe up. Breathe in, lengthen the spine, feels and good. pull the toe up a little more. Can you feel that? Yes. Good. That is perfect. I love that. Two questions, and Michael has answered correctly both times. Well, yeah. That's kind of exciting, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. It's new. New. <laughs> okay. Let's stretch out the other leg. This is also good in case you get cramps in your hamstring. But in order to really get the lower muscles on the lower leg, you want to pull the toe up. And that pulls and stretches the muscles on the back of the lower leg. So that was pretty good. Now come back to center. So we worked our legs a little bit. Now we're going to work our hands. Because we're going to be gripping the pillow, we want to make sure our fingers are very comfortable working and working well. So all we do is we take our hands and put it on the edges of the pillow. There you go. And then squish the fingers in and open them. Squish the fingers in and open them. Good. Squish the fingers in and just do your best. One of the, one of the, excuse me, one of the reasons that Ruth keeps me uh, in the house is uh, I can open jars for her because she has osteoarthritis and can't open a jar. So she turns to me and I usually can open the jar. And this is this is helps to open jars, this what is, we're doing. It does. it does. This is a great idea. But I will tell you something that will really help to open jars. Because we've been doing this, we now want to push our hands, palms down. Now I'm going to show you something that really helps you open jars. We're going to make our pillow go diagonal, but you can go on either side. We're going to take one corner, good, like this. There we go. Okay. Now, this is palm down. This is palm up. Mm -hmm. We're going to lift our pillow up and turn oh. and twist it, just like we were twisting water out of a big, wet rag. Yeah, Ruth has me do this sometimes. I, I have to squeeze uh, water out of uh, towels. That's right. You are. He is pretty he's, handy to he's handy. He's pretty handy. Yeah. He yes. is. Yeah. So I can I'll, change I'll the light bulb, too. Around. <laughs> <laughs> twist and twist. Can you feel that a little bit? Yes. No, you got, me, you got me working. thinking a little bit. I have hope. Uh, look, uh, look. Okay, now try to keep your hands parallel. Well, there we go. I'm and now twist you got, with you your... got me thinking of the turtles again. What oh, we, good. The turtles are are wounded usually and they need to exercise their their flippers right so they're in a round tank mm -hmm. and what we do is we have water going in in the tank in in one direction and the Thumb turtles circle. have to swim against the Thumb water circles. and it and it helps to strengthen their, their that's a great idea uh, yes yeah that's a circle it's a great idea pointers. What, oh, what am I doing? I'm doing this. Okay. That's okay. That was a great story. And that, I didn't know that about turtle rehab. Well. And now the pinkies are circling. There you go. See, this is a little difficult. It is. And relax. Okay. Now, we're going to take our hands, and we're going to take the thumb, and we're just going to circle the thumb. There you go. And well, we're what, going to take the what, pointer. What is, what is the purpose of this? What does it do? Moving the joint. We're on our pointer. Moving the joint. Okay. We're on our pointer. pointer. All right. We're on our pointer. All right. Pointing, all right. <laughs> now we're moving to the middle finger. Middle finger, all right. Aren't you glad Michael's with us? <laughs> and yes. next we'll get to the ring finger. And now the ring finger. See, he's psychic also. I love that in person. And now the pinky. There you go. I don't know why it's called and a pinky. Because that's where you put your pinky ring. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and now the other hand, make a circle. And you can start with a small circle and See, get now this, bigger. This hurts. Yeah, that's why we're doing Keep it. Keep doing it. There you go. And now we're going to pointer. 
because hurt says stop. And now we're going to middle finger. <laughs> You're doing great. And now we're doing ring finger. Fabulous. And now pinky winky do. There you go. And shake the water off of that hand. So our hands are pretty well warmed up, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Yes. Okay, they're pretty well warmed up. All right. Now we're going to move our arms. We're going to take our hands and put them on the sides of the pillow. Okay. And your open palms. So your thumbs over here and fingers are over there. And we're going to push our palms together. Mm -hmm. So we're using our hands, but we're strengthening the muscles in our chest. Yeah, this is yes. a good exercise. Isn't this good? It's a very I've good never exercise. done this. Well, well, I'll tell you. It's a good thing you're it's here good joining thing Mary's us, right? Here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're pushing and pushing. Our elbows are down, our shoulders are relaxed. Now we're simply going to put it up, good, and we're going to push in like this. That's more oh. difficult. It is a little more difficult. And all we did was simply rotate the pillow. We're still doing the same movement. Now we're going to take, and you'll notice that both Ruth and I have our printed side up. We're going to flip the pillow and push in again. Our shoulders are relaxed, oh. and you can feel this differently. Yes. So we're still doing the same movement. We're still pressing in, but with a simple rotation of the hands, you'll feel it differently on the shoulders, which, by the way, are relaxed. Ah, how did you feel with that one? That was kind That's of a very, dandy yes. doodle. A yes, dandy, dandy That's doodle. A, I, it's an interesting exercise. It is. Now, we're going to take our hands and place them on the pillow. I'm and we're I, gonna, I like this better. Yes, it is a nice one. So, while Michael is enjoying that one, <laughs> Ruth and I are going to okay. crunch into this pillow. Yeah. We're using our hands. That's good for the hands. Very good, very good for the hands, and yet it's soft and gentle. Yes. And the beauty of this is you create the amount of pressure and resistance mm -hmm. you want. That's the way you, use the, you do with, with, you make dough like this when you're making a pizza or a pie, I suppose. You squeeze, <laughs> the, don't you, too? Well, well, not with a pie, but maybe with a pizza. The dough for the pie, I'm talking about. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. Well, well, okay. My, my mother used to do it that way. All right. Okay. And then relax those hands and shake the hands out. So when you're working the fingers, sometimes it goes all the way up into the mm -hmm. forearm. You can feel it there. Yes. Okay, now we're going to work our wrists. So we simply hold our pillow, we bring the pattern sign down and pattern sign up. Both my sides are the same. They oh, are. Well. I did that to trick you. Oh. Okay. Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> oh. And we're flipping our pillows. There you go. And pillows work well because they're nice and light. Okay. You've got it. Now we're going to bring one end of the pillow over. There you go. It's kind of like driving I a car. I feel like I'm driving. Mine is round. Yes, yes. Oh, you've got the steering yes, wheel. Yes, I do. You and I have the play cars. <laughs> All right. Actually, we probably would have bumper cars. <laughs> so we're steering, steering. Very, very good. Nice. Okay, now you're going to place your palms underneath the pillow. And your elbows are relaxed by your sides. Your chest is high. Your shoulders are back and down. You feel great. Now, we're all going to bring our pillows with our elbows tucked in towards Ruth and then towards you and then towards Michael. We keep our elbows tucked in so we're getting a little bit of a rotation. Can you feel mm -hmm. that a little bit? Yes. Okay. Now we're going to do an extension. So we bring our pillows towards Ruth and then we reach them out a little bit, bring our elbows back in and then rotate towards Michael. We bring our arms out a little bit, back in, and then rotate again. Good work. Stretching out. Feel that on the sides of the back. Mm -hmm. And rotate. Yeah. This is good for your intestines. It's also good for your spine. One more time, please. You're doing a great job. There you go. And rotate and elongate and then come back to center. So that was just a little bit of mm -hmm. rotation. Very, very important for the spine. And turning like this is also good for your intestines. Isn't that exciting? Yes. Okay. So now we're going to take our pillow. We're going to bring it towards our chest and up to the sky. It's called a bicep curl and overhead press. Okay. Hold the pillow comfortably. Bring the pillow to your chest and then up to the sky. Back to your chest and down. Good work. To the chest, up to the sky, back to the chest and down. Good work. Right to the chest, straight to the sky. So you can feel that in the shoulders a little bit? Yes. There you go. 
And two more times, please. We curl, we lengthen, we bring it back and relax. Last time right now, and you are done. Well, that was kind of fun that now, was wasn't fun. it? Yes. Yeah, I, I can do that. Just don't ask me to dance, but I'm all right. He's actually a very good dancer. <laughs> he is. Okay, so now we're going to walk our buttocks towards the edge of the chair, and we're going to work our bellies and our backs again. So we lean back, holding the pillow in front. Now when we come up, we're going to sit tall, and we're going to lengthen right up to the sky. We're going to lean back. Good work. And lift and lengthen. Very, very nice. We lean back, drop our chin. We're not arching our backs at all. Stretching up to the sky. We lean back. Good work. Stretch up to the sky. One more time. Let's lean back. Now hold it here. Bring it a little out to the side of the hip right back. Make sure you're holding your belly in tight. You're leaning back. Be careful of your back. If your back hurts at all, you'll sit up a little taller. Last one on this side. Last one on this side. Very, very good. Now let's relax and lean into our pillow and relax the back. Does this, that feel good? Mm, this that is the best good. position for me. I don't know why. I, I had two back surgeries, but it always feels better when I lean forward rather than lean back. So this feels really good. Fabulous, because we really like that. I do too. <laughs> and now slowly come back to center. Okay, so what we're going to do is our hands are under our pillows. Now, I know this is kind of a dangerous thing to do, but we're going to toss our pillows up. Start very small. Just start very small. It's kind of like tossing a... Pillow up in the air. Okay. It's a good thing I wore Watch a hat. out, Mary. It's a metal hat, so like if his pillow lands on me, I'm still going to be okay. Okay. Now we're going to toss it up a little higher. There you go. Keep your eye on the pillow. There you go. I'm hoping Michael doesn't throw his up so high it knocks the lights out. So if all of a sudden it gets dark, it's you'll Michael. know what happened. You'll know what happened. <laughs> Last one here. And now you're done. Now you're going to place the pillow in your right hand, sitting nice and tall. You're going to flip the pillow over to your left hand. And we go. Tossing. Now, you can make a lot of noise like you know who. Thank you. And I actually asked Ruth if she would please lose her pillow. And you'll notice that she and did. And I did. I followed directions. That's right. That's right. Because we want you to see that doing this or any other exercise program, it will be okay if you make a mistake. You just pick your pillow back up and fly right. Isn't that? There's a song about that. Yes, yeah, straighten up. Straighten up, up and, and fly, fly right. right. Dun, 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 dun. Straighten <laughs> up and fly right. Ruth doesn't sing. She, when she was in school, the oh nun told God. her, just move her, move her lips. Oh, man, that's hard to believe. She and I are in a band together. I know. Yeah, but tell them why, Ruth. Yeah, why, right. why you thought it was so silly. It was on the radio. On the radio. <laughs> oh. Even though I was in third grade, I oh, knew that something gosh. was wrong. That's right. Okay, and now relax. So we got a little side-to-side -side movement, mm -hmm. you'll notice. We were moving forward and backward and then side-to-side. -side. So now we're going to pretend... Then we have a great big pot here. This is a great big pot. And we're going to go along the edges of the pot. Okay? So this is our scrubby. We have a great big pot, kind of like a cauldron. So we're going to take this. We're going to lean back a little bit. And then we're going to push the pillow and lean to the side. Lean forward a little bit and towards the other side. Pull it back towards us. So this is really, really doing a great job. We're extending our arms. We're drawing our arms back to us when we lean back. And now we're going in the other direction. So we're going to lean towards Ruth. There you go. Great job. That's excellent. You're doing terrifically. And you can make a big circle or a small circle. Because remember, it's your circle. Even though Michael's on speed <laughs> dial over there. And now we come back to center. I hate to tell you this, but I felt for a minute he was trying to knock my pillow out of my hand. I think so. I think, I think so. Okay, palms down. And try to lift your fingertips up off the pillow and push the palms down. Lift the fingers up. Lift the fingers up. That's really difficult to do. Perfect. Nice. 
and relax. Shake it out. Good work. Okay, we're going to place the pillow on the right leg or either leg, it's okay, and your other leg is going to extend out. Good. You're going to reach away with the toe, and as you do, you want to feel a nice stretch mm -hmm. on the side of the shin, the lower leg. You just feel a nice stretch there, but you feel a contraction on the leg. There you go, on the back of the lower leg. Pull the toe up. Now you're going to feel these muscles tighten up, and these muscles on the back of the leg, your calf, elongate. Perfect. Now holding the toe in a flex position, roll the toe in. Try to pull the toes up towards your knee, and you'll feel a nice stretch on the outside of the ankle. I feel it in my thigh. Yes, yeah, so that's because you're using your whole leg. You're a wonderful man. <laughs> Slowly bring the toe up and out to the other side. Try to bring the toe up. You'll feel a stretch on the inside of the foot mm -hmm. and the ankle. Can you feel it right there? Yes. yes. And it'll go all the way up to the yes. inner thigh. Yes, good. Perfect. Then relax that foot. Pillow on the other leg and extend. So you're going to point the toe away and you feel a great stretch on the side of that shin. I can really feel that. And you just hold it and reach away with the toe. Your heel is down. And then you pull the toe up towards your shin and your knee. And you'll feel a great, great tightness as you're tightening the muscles right on the side of the shin. And you're going to feel an elongation of the muscles behind the lower portion of the leg. Great job. Sitting nice and tall, we're going to roll the toe in. And once you get it in as far as you can, because everybody's different, you're going to pull the toe up to your knee. I feel that in my hip. Yeah, that's great, because you're using your whole mm -hmm. leg. Fabulous. And then roll the toe up and out. Curl the toe up. Feel the lengthening of all the muscles mm -hmm. on the inside of the leg as you curl the toe up. You're going to feel it on the inside of the foot and the inside of the yes. ankle. And we don't work these muscles very often. No. But we do use them a lot. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then slowly come back to center. Whew! That was a good one. Okay, now we're going to take our pillows. When we lean forward to protect our backs, we're going to place our hand right on our leg. And we're going to put the pillow right down in between our feet. I'm ready to put my head on my pillow. <laughs> He's a great guy. Okay, so all we're going to do is take our foot. Now we're going to bring our feet a little wider apart. There we go. We're going to take this foot and we're going to bring it over the pillow. Really? Okay, yeah. Really? Yes. Yes, follow me. Okay. We're going to lean back a little bit to give us a little. We're going to pull the leg up. I think and I touch need a smaller over. pillow. <laughs> no, you don't. I think I do. Up and back. There you go. Excellent. Up and over. Up and back. One more time, please. Up and over. This is the most difficult thing we've done today for it me. It is. It is. This is a hard one to do. It's a very hard one to do because you're working the lower abs, the hip flexors, and the quadricep. So everything has to work together. All right. So now we're going to go to the other foot three times. Lean back a little bit because that'll help you. And as you lean back, you're going to bring the foot up and over, up and out. Well, I can Excellent. do it if I hold on, like with my arms. Sure. So that's a good point to make. If you want to hold on to your chair... That's excellent yeah, and that's relax. Much, much easier. Could you feel that one? Okay, yes. Michael's doing another one. Okay, and another we'll one. Another now you're going to get us lopsided. Oh. Okay. All right. So if you hold on to the back of the chair, so that's a good little cue. If it, if you're having a tough time holding the back of the chair, will stabilize the torso. Great job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hand on the leg. We're going to reach forward, pick the pillow up, bring it right over our head. There we go. Bring it right back down from whence it came and sit up nice and tall. Other hand on the leg. Breathe in, lengthen the spine. Flat back folds forward. We grab the pillow. We bring the pillow way up. We bring the pillow way down. And then we sit up nice and tall. Good work. Could you feel that a little bit? In my yes. back. Yes, in your back. But did yeah. it hurt your back? A little. Okay. So any, any, that's why we had our hand on our thighs so our backs wouldn't be assuming all the work. Okay. I don't so, know if I ever told you. I've had two back surgeries. You have? Yes. Well, your posture is nice and tall. Well, because of your help and, my, and Ruth's help. She's always asking me to stand up straighter, so I've been trying to do that. Like You've a been marine. doing a great job. Okay. Breathe in, long spine, hand on the thigh, and just reach down and get your pillow. Okay. Now we're going to have some fun. We're going to bring our ankles and our knees and feet together. We're going to lean back, and when we lean back, we're going to put the pillow in the hand closest to Ruth. 
We're going to lean forward and push the pillow back behind us. We're going to lean forward, put the pillow in the other hand. And now the pillow's in Michael's side hand, and then we lean forward. Good. Lean back. Switch. Lean forward. Good job. Lean back. Switch. Lean forward. Excellent. Lean back. Switch. Good work. Lean forward. And so you're going to feel this in the hips. And lean. So now you have to use your back muscles to come up. And then you need to use your stomach muscles to come up from leaning back. Last one here. Excellent. And last one on this side. That's perfect. How are you feeling? Fine. Okay. So now we're going to take our pillow and we are really going to appreciate the pillow because we're going to put the pillow behind our backs. Oh, that'll, that'll feel better. Won't that feel better? Yeah. Okay. There yeah, that, you that go. That feels really good. Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to kind of rock into the pillow and adjust the pillow so it sits so, you yes. just perfectly. Okay. So you may want to go up or down, but you want to just kind of rock into this pillow and just relax, relax, relax. Good. So now that we're totally relaxed, we're going to simply use our arms by rolling them. Good. And we're going to roll low, and then we're going to roll higher. We're going to roll lower, and we're going to roll higher. We're going to roll lower and higher. Then we're going to find midway and we're going to go as fast as we can. Speeding, speeding, speeding as fast as we can. We're really rolling those arms and now we relax and go slowly the other way. There you go. Now I don't know about you, but when I went fast, I was squeezing my hand and making a fist. Oh, yeah. But see how nice working. Ruth is? No, Ruth is keeping her hands apart. Good. Okay, we're going to roll low, we're going to roll high, we'll roll low, and you'll see our backs are very protected high, mm -hmm. roll back, and up. Now go as fast as you can in the middle. We're really speeding, we're going so fast, we can hardly believe it. Good way, to, good way to wind the self-winding watch. That's right. <laughs> and now relax. Ah, Reach forward, shoulders are relaxed. As you pull your elbows back, lean into the pillow in your chair as your chest lifts. Reach forward. Good job. Pull those elbows back. Nice. Can you feel that a little bit? Yes. yes. As your shoulder blades roll into the chair. This isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> and pull. One more time. Reach and relax. Ah, that was pretty doggone was good. Yep. So we're going to take a great big breath, breath in. in. And as you exhale, know that all will be well.